Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel if you're a subscriber. If you don't subscribe or this is your first time, welcome. And I'd appreciate you hitting the subscribe button before you leave today. You can follow along with me on my lowrider S build, uh, as well as maybe pick up some tips on parts that I've purchased, things that I like, things that I don't like, things that I might do again differently. Um, today we're going to talk about the Vans Cult Grips. I picked them up from Revzilla. I ordered them two days ago. Uh, came pretty quickly. I think they were $29 or just under $30. I also ordered the throttle sleeve. It's from Drag Specialties. Uh, also picked it up on Revzilla's website. I think it was under $10. But you're definitely going to need the sleeve whenever you do grips. I've read that you can reuse the sleeve that's on the bike. However, with the glue, I don't really feel like going through the trouble with doing it. So we just picked this up, $10. Um, the Vans Colt grips come in a variety of colors. Uh, I went back and forth between brown, gum, and black. I ended up picking up the black. Uh, once I get these on, I'll probably cruise them for a while, see what I think about them. Um, ultimately, I may go to the brown. I think it's gonna match the bronze wheels, but uh, I wasn't real committed, so I just stuck with the black. So, so far, I mean, I haven't really looked at them much, but they basically look just like the bottom of a van shoe. If you have vans, you obviously know what I'm talking about. Um, cool thing I like about it when I did open the box is on the end of the grip, it says made in the USA. I, I thought that was pretty cool. As well as along the outside of your hand or the outside of the handlebar, it says cult, um, vans cult. So I'll, what I'll try to do is probably line the vans logo up on the top when I put them on. There's a vans on this side and then cult on this side. Probably try to line them up with the vans facing upward stick these on i'm gonna cut the old ones off a little bit of hairspray um, to stick these back on i read that's the easiest thing to do and then uh other than that i think it's gonna be real simple so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the bike take those ones off i'll put these ones on and i'll show you what it looks All right, like so first grips off really easy um i just sliced through it with a razor blade super simple i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side but just so you can see what i'm talking about housing apart just slice down, pull the grip off. Don't need to pull everything apart. Um, you can just loosen this up, hang everything here. But that one's off, a little bit of hairspray, slide the new one on, should be nice. And uh, nice. So, grips are on. Uh, I'll take you over there so you can look at them real quick. Just left side grip. Uh, and here's the right side. Um, I think they turned out great. Vans is on the top. Colt on the bottom, uh, throttle tube, I changed out. Everything seems fine with that. Looks perfect. Super easy, like I said. Uh, loosen these two up, you don't need to take them off. Just loosen them up, back that off. Torx bit here, Torx it on the bottom. Pop that off, grip on, grip off. Um, again, I don't know if you can tell or not, but made in the USA on the outside. I really think that's pretty awesome. Uh, they look good. They definitely look way different than, than stock might not seem like a big deal but uh man they, they look cool i think the grip will be good it just breaks it up a little bit i think next time i might go with brown probably get the same ones and just switch them to brown um i do want to mention that i told you guys i got the drag specialties um uh, throttle sleeve it was 9.95 um now that i'm done i definitely didn't need to to get that i read there wasn't a way to do it but um i popped the old one off i uh, had the grip on it used a razor knife uh, just put a slice down the grip it popped right off this is the yeah this is the grip right here um like i said just sliced it off and then uh, i haven't cleaned this this is how it looked when it came off so there's no glue on it it's not nasty uh it's literally perfect it's exactly the same as the drag specialties difference is it has these grooves on it um and then on the drag specialties this cap actually has the uh throttle by wire on it um on the on the harley davidson they're actually part of the tube so if you want to save 9.95 you definitely don't need to get it so altogether, you know around 20 dollars just to change out the van scripts and then uh i don't know 30 minutes of your time i'm gonna definitely save this um next time Instead of even messing around with getting that one off, obviously I just put the brown one on this one. And I'll just probably continue to do the same thing as I change them out. So uh, all together, would I do it again? Yeah, I think they look great. I'll ride with them on for a little while and do another video of what I think about them and review probably when I do the sissy bar 
um, 500 mile. We're gonna take another couple rides, but we're gonna do another one for the Sissy Bar. So stick around. Um, I have a few other reviews to do. I got some Simpson stuff coming in, a new helmet, a new face shield, um, and then pin lock kit for my wife's helmet. So we'll do a review on that. Stop back, like I said before, if you don't subscribe already, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, like the video, stick around for uh, more videos for the FXLRS and then other little motorcycle review videos. But uh, for now, ride safe. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Take it easy.